Yo, what's up, dudes and dudettes? I want to make this quick because we got lots of stuff to do today. Guys, check it out. This is really cool. Um, we updated to the latest version of the mod pack, and now things don't load properly. It's pretty crazy and pretty amazing. But guys, we're going to be getting into some fun things today. Oh, wait, things loading in. That's crazy. I didn't know that was a thing anymore. The raccoon disappeared. He's not there, I promise. But we'll go ahead and ignore that. Um, I feel like we need another build because you guys know from the title that we're getting into a uh, immersive engineering. Must have applied energistics. Pff, we're not there yet. We're getting into immersive engineering, and I think right here is a good spot. To, uh, ha ha ha! Chew! Oh my goodness, guys! Look at this immersive engineering building. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's what it's gonna be. But uh, yeah, this is our. Our new little build, uh, I just built this, obviously. That looks a little funky, I need to fix that. Uh, yeah, so just need to put stairs here, but it looks weird. But anyways, guys, yeah, this is going to be where we put our immersive engineering stuff. And we're one short, why have I done this? I should have just done this before, but I didn't see it until now. Who, who ye, who ye gonna tell? Oh, yeah. There we go, okay. Look at that, we're golden. It, 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 it's looking good. Yes, we don't have any doors because we like to live life dangerously. Now, nah, I just need to figure out what to do with the doors. But yeah, this is our build. Very, very cool. A little bit different. There's a creeper. A little bit different than that one. I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Uh, Shabook, that was creepy. Get dead. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I need to light up underneath here a lot. But anyways, this is our immersive engineering building. We're going to be putting our blast, our, like, big boys down here. Um, yeah, that's where they're going to go. We need to get a coke oven and blast bricks. So we need coke, not cocaine, the coke. Coke bricks, this is what we need. And to do that, we're going to need quite a bit of clay and bricks. Now, I do have a bit of bricks um but i don't have a whole lot of clay so that's something i need to go kind of look around for uh let's have a look here oh we got 36 how many bricks we got oh we got a decent amount uh but we need a sand a stone yeah that's not something we have a whole lot of so we need a total of 27 actually i think we have enough for it let's go ahead and try it out 21. Okay, so we need a few more. Mm, okay, so we are barely just shy of the amount of clay that we require. Okay, I'll go ahead and get some, and then we will come back and work on the blast bricks, which are a little bit more advanced, but just a little bit more smelting is required. Okay, so we have uh, 27 coke bricks now. Now we're going to need to go ahead and make the apply. No, I keep saying applied energy. <laughs> That sticks. Immersive engineering hammer, which is pretty simple, uh, just like that. But we're going to go ahead and build it here. And when I say here, I mean right right in here because, uh, yeah. You know, now that I think about it, this is going to be tight. Um, hmm. Should have made this a little bit bigger. Oh, well. Now, I was going to go ahead and sink it one into the ground. Let's see here if that's what we should do. Okay, so here we go. We have our Coke oven. Perfect. We can go ahead, throw some spruce logs in here. This is going to go ahead and create um, charcoal for us and then give us creosote oil, which is beautiful. Oops, still not that. We want uses. Let's see. Where's the Coke oven? As you can see, we get creosote oil. Take this, we just click it with a bucket, it's fine. And then we can make the treated wood, and this is major importante for immersive engineering. Uh, what the crap is that? I'm just in here trying to get magma. <gasps> frickin', 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 you jerk. Die, potato. What is that? It's like a lava dragon or something, but he's got some magma blocks over there. So we might go say hi. He might be harmful. He might be friendly. We're about to find out. Probably the hard way. Um, yeah, this will work. We can just kind of, you know, go down here till we get to... I 
I'm actually kind of spooked. Is he going to be our friend? Does... Do you want a friend? I'll be your friend if you want. Where are you? A leviathan? Oh, that does not sound like a fun time. He's just chilling. Okay. He's just chilling, so we just go and chill. What is that? That's a really small leviathan. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just here doing stuff and things. You know, the huge. Okay, so I believe we have enough items to go ahead and make enough blast bricks. Um, yeah. I don't exactly know how many we need. Cause I'm pretty sure the middle section's got to be hollow. You know, it would be a lot easier if I just made the immersive engineering book. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make the engineer's manual. As you can see, it is a very difficult recipe to uh, remember like I might not remember it off the top of my head. How do I make it again? How do I craft this again? Whoa, that's it Okay, so let's see here Simple machines. I guess it's not simple machine heavy machinery Oh Nope power wires generators maybe lightning rod redstone wires construction tree wood multi-block structures Nope, that's going into way more advanced Crude blast furnace. Here we are. Okay, so it looks like we fill in the bottom. I might have done this over. Oh, it's literally the exact same. You don't have to do anything. Oh my lord, that is so... Oh, I clicked it again. That is so much easier than I originally anticipated. I thought you had to put lava in it. That might be from a different mod that I'm remembering. Please forgive me. Okay. Um, yeah, we're putting it over here. One, two, three, one, two, three, ooh. One, two, three. Bam, a lamb. And then, and then we put our hammer back and we have to go back and get it. That's what happens. Haha, <laughs> this my hammer? Of course I brought it. Okay, really hot topic. Perfect. And as you can see, we got some creosote oil. We got two buckets in there. Oh man, we are moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go make some cool stuff. Okay, so we're gonna get a temporary uh, hemp seed farm going over here. Uh, and this way we'll be able to grow the hemp seeds that we need uh, because I guess hemp seeds are actually pretty important to immersive engineering. So yeah, we're gonna get some of those. It's also gonna allow us to create string which is an amazing thing to be able to do. Uh, and this, I guess, is our first, like, actual farm. Which is kind of crazy, if you ask me. So we just need to let these guys grow. And then we'll, we actually trim off the top, and then they grow back. They're kind of weird. And I made this uneven. All right, so that's pretty much planted. We're just going to go ahead and leave it there for now. Um, actually, I just realized... Put this at a spot so it's one, two, three away. I forgot to do this one. That's why it looks weird. Okay. So, yeah, now we have even more spice, a spice, spice, space to grow the seeds. So, that'll be good and cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and sleep here real fast. Okay. So, another very important tool that we are going to need is the engineer's workbench. Uh, and this is going to require us to get some treated wood. So, we're going to have to go ahead and make that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some buckets here. I do have a couple in my inventory, but that's okay. Let's go 15. Have a full stack of buckets. All right. So all we got to do is just kind of, I think we just, oh, we go like this and it gives it to us. There we go. We have a total of three, count them, three buckets. Very, very cool. And then all we got to do is just get some wood here. We're going to use oak just 
to make sure it doesn't do anything weird. Uh, and then we go like that. So we just swap them out. Don't do what I just did. Swap out the bucket. That's the proper thing to do. Okay, so now that we have the treated wood, we're going to go ahead and make a few sticks with it. Now, this is pretty valuable right now, so we got to be careful. And then engineer's workbench. Okay, so that means we got to do one of these guys. All right, engineer's crafting table. Bam. And then engineer's workbench shouldn't be an issue, but it is because... Hang on, I didn't make that properly there we go okay so we have the treated wood front wood fence perfect engineers work table and this is going to require a few things um the blueprints will have to create um okay and depending on what you craft uh will give you certain things like for instance this if we hit uses uh, this will get us the steel mechanical components uh things that we'll need like especially this guy the vacuum tubes um so we're gonna go ahead and make this guy now if we can uh we don't have any copper really that seems a bit off to me open open says me okay let's go ahead and get some copper smelting then and then it looks like we were also out of blue dye okay that's super easy to make all right copper please be done hey look it's almost done Bam, malam, it's done. Cool. So now we do this. We get the engineer's blueprint. Perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and make the other ones later, but for now, this is the one we're going to need because I want to get into the, the cloches. Um, I believe that's their name. The garden cloches? Yeah, that's their name. It just popped into my head as I was trying to look for it, and I can't find it. Where are you at? Uh, vacuum tube. If I do this, yeah, garden cloche here. It allows you to grow... Items with power, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so oh, maybe not there. Let's put it here then. Yes. Give it the blueprint. Bam. That is cool looking. But it doesn't really make any sense there. But if we were to place it uh, not there. Like so. And then give it the blueprint. Bam. And it's hanging over. Looking good. Looks like it belongs there. So cool. Vacuum tube circuit, yes. Steel mechanical component. We're going to need those a lot. And so we're probably going to do like fence gates here. And this will be the entrance. And then we'll probably end up putting like a, I don't know, villager here or something like that. Something weird. Something cool. But what's next? What else do we need to get basic immersive engineering going? All right. So the next thing we're probably going to need is an alloy kiln. Uh, this is very important. It's basically like an alloy smelter. It'll combine two different ores for us. Our ores, but two different metals. If we look at the uses here. Um, actually, it's not going to let us do that. I need to find the component itself. Anywho, it just takes some smooth stone and some bricks. I'm not able to see that. So I need to go ahead and get some more sand. But we got a good spot for sand. Oh, I'm real sandy. All right, so I went ahead and got some more sand, and then we crafted up some of the uh, sandstone as well. That will go ahead and finish off of that stack. And then we're good there. Uh, making copper there, which is good. Okay, um, so let's see here. I believe we only need like four of these. Oh, wait a sec. That was weird. That made cream bricks. <laughs> don't get me wrong i like the cream bricks but i wasn't s s expecting them yeah we just need a total of four of these perfect it's gonna look great let's go ahead and craft it. or not craft it but get this thing set down all right we're putting it here oh we need a total of eight i lied i am bad at math all right there we go and then yes haha -ha. we now have ourselves an alloy kill oh, very cool very very cool the basic materials are coming together, everybody, which is amazing. Okay. Okay, so there's a very interesting feature with immersive engineering, which is the thermoelectric generator. Uh, this just requires us to put, like, water and lava on both sides of this, and it makes power. We can also swap this out with blue ice and uh, a uranium block. So I actually want to go ahead and try this out. 
Um, so the thermoelectric generator here. We're gonna need some copper coils, which is gonna require a couple of things, but everything we can make now with so much ease because of the stuff we have. All right, so engineers, uh, nippers or cutters, whatever you wanna call it, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna combine this up with the uh, copper here. Does it need to be a plate? It needs to be a plate, okay. That's right. We can use an ore hammer though. Look at that, a copper ore hammer making the copper things. Okay, so there we go. We combine those together. Oh my lord, we're gonna need a lot more copper. Okay, note to self, don't use the ore hammer. That was really, like, a really inefficient way to use resources. You can just go one for one with that. And, like, I think we already have enough, actually, to make the, the first one. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out. I already misclicked it. Dang it. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. We have the eight that we need. And then that just requires that. So here we have the copper coil block. And then we're going to need some steel. Okay, so this is a different steel, uh, made with steel dust. Okay, so we need to get iron dust. That's actually extremely easy to come across now. Okay, so now it looks like we just need some coal, like so. Beautiful. Look at that. There we go, we have our steel being crafted up. I just made a, a bit so that we could have some. Perfect, oh my goodness, this is all coming together. And then we need to worry about the Constantine plates. Um, okay, how do we make this one? Uh, this is just, what is that? Copper and something else. I want to say nickel. But I could be wrong. Let's see. Okay, I don't know if that is it. Um... See, what does the dust require? Nickel and copper. Okay, so that's more than likely it. Perfect. So we have copper getting made over here. We have nickel getting made over here. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Hey, it's an Enderman. Let's look at him. Where'd he go? There he is. You can't hide forever. And he didn't give us a pearl. That's a G thing. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. Those together, we're gonna take some charcoal here. Put those, and there we go. So we have that going. Look at that, we got more creosote oil, so cool. What the frick is that? Oh, it's gone. I didn't know what that was. It was crazy looking. Die, spider. You like you needed to die. I don't know what that was. Was that, that wasn't a skeleton, was it? I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me what it was. You probably know. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have enough of the plates here. I'm going to save one of these. We can turn them into plates like that. Beautiful. And our steel should be done. So this means we can make our thermoelectric generator. So cool. All right, steel. That's not where you are. Steel. The real steel. All right, thermoelectric generator. All right, so I should have some uranium here. Yes, as you can see, I've really done, I've really mined a lot of it. Oh, why did that do that? I don't know. Get in there. Ready to get two? Mm, not really, that's okay. Raw uranium, can we mash this up? Boil it, mash it, boil, put it in a stew, boil it. Oh, we need one more uranium. 
Oh, no. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a uranium block. Okay, it's supposed to be very, very hot. Um, and But then we only have a bucket. We don't have any ice yet, and I got rid of my silk touch. <laughs> so getting ice is a little difficult because uh, blue ice is definitely what we need. It's got the lowest... Um, it's got the lowest temperature and yeah reinforced blue ice what's the best way huh a frosty bee could do it what do you need frosty bee a sweet bee what do you need sweet bee lives in cold areas i've actually found one of these so i might need to go back and take a look uh, but it looks like other than that ice seeds but we need ice for that so we're not gonna be able to do it with that but that is okay uh let's go ahead and grab some water And then we can just set this up. Uh, we'll do a, a temporary spot. Um, see if it works like this. Uranium block, water block. Hmm, is that the right uranium block? What if we steal this guy and put him here? Ooh, that's charging. Okay, it's not charging very fast, but it's charging at a rate that will support this. Okay, that's not too expensive to make either. And we can put the electric blast furnace right on top of it. So we're literally not having to do anything. This is it. And then if we put blue ice here, it will generate even more power. More power, baby. And then if we have a whole bunch of these, we can take over the world. And then if we take over the world, we can wrap up the video for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video today. We did a lot of fun stuff with immersive engineering. We built the place and had all of the fun. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Oh, bye bye